Peggy 18. We're at the world famous uh, Abbey Road Studios in London, England, um, really having the musical time of our lives uh, recording the score to Call of Duty Black Ops 2. The amazing thing about Abbey Road is, is its history. You know, the Beatles recorded most of their catalog here. We're just so privileged uh, to be recording Call of Duty in the same room as, as Star Wars, frankly. When I learned I won the audition, I think I jumped up and down about 50 times. It was an unbelievable feeling. For a game like Call of Duty, uh, I wanted to uh, have the best musicians in the world. You know, these musicians have been trained for a couple dozen years, some of them, and, and they're just amazing at what they do. I, I could never hope to have the same kind of uh, quality of this music without their input. And their interpretation of what I write brings something new and fresh. It's an honor um, to work with Jack. He brings a skill set to the project that I think is unique to, uh, to him as a composer, where he's able to take orchestral score like we're recording here today and mix it with other pieces of music that he's written that are more electronic in creating what is a very unique sound. No bats. Oh, unmanned armies. And no one ever asks. being in the room and hearing something I didn't expect to happen, but it's actually better than I thought it would be. And that's the value of bringing all these different parties to our party. The game is, is set in two different time periods. One's in the future and one's in the 80s, uh, back sort of in the Cold War. So we wanted to have two different musical directions for each uh, time period. We wanted the, the future to feel a little bit more slicker um, and, and have maybe more electronics, whereas the 80s felt feels a little bit more orchestral. I think my favorite part of writing music for video games is that there's so much creativity. People are interested in what's new, and coming up with new sounds is, is part of the fun. And, and I want to keep doing that for as long as I can.